Jim here, and today I'm going to give you a full map and time tracking uh, tutorial. Now, this is our normal map, and this blue and red are representations of the X and Z inside the game. Now, to full map track, you must achieve one goal. Well, technically two, but it's just one. Uh, you must have a tracker that is capable of tracking this entire length of the map. Now, on a 10,000 long map, it will be a 20,000 long area, because it's 10,000 that way, and 10,000 that way, so that's 20,000 in total. And then you're also going to have that over here, so 10,000 and 10,000 will equal 20,000. So you're going to be dividing uh, 40,000 by 25, and that will give you the amount of blocks of obsidian you need. Now, you then divide that by 64, and that gives you the amount of stacks, and that amount of stacks is 25. Now, it only takes 25 stacks to track full map. Yes. It only takes 25 stacks to corner track the full map with a giant corner vanilla. And that's just honestly the worst way to track full map that you can think of. Now, um, I apologize for any background noise. My mom is probably going to ask me a question while I'm recording this, uh, but I'll do the best I can. Now, there's quite a few ways to track full map, and uh, first will be uh, X and Y trackers. I do these a lot and I love using them. So I'm going to load up my 4 hunt and paste it here. And the 4 hunt slows are 10k trackers basically. They track 5k each way and are divided in two. They look like this generally. Uh, this is my private pack. Uh, I think only me, studies, and regular both have this. Four. This is what a hunt slow looks like just for if you guys didn't know. It tracks only uh, two directions and not four. This would be a horizontal, or actually a vanilla, if you will, but you can stack them. And so these are used to track only one coordinate instead of having a four-way tracker. Now, so you're going to track one full coordinate along here, and it tracks 5k each way, one here as well. And that kind of makes up for that entire area. If you notice, there's not a single block that I don't stand on that does not correspond with that. We're going to have to jump over this tracker in a second, and then skip this block, because these blocks don't actually count right here. This is just a divider between the quadrants, so don't worry about that. Uh, and then every single block is covered, and you're going to want to do this throughout your entire map. Excuse those blocks over there, they're not necessarily uh, supposed to be there. You can ignore them, but I'll keep them there for now. Uh, so just make sure that when you're planning this out, I highly suggest making what I make because it, re it really helps me organize my thoughts. I also use a lot of graphing paper. For instance, I have one with like five different ways to track full map on it, where all the coordinates are, what the arm length is, and everything kind of on it. And I like planning my stuff out here, so if I wanted to make a little tracker like this, I would know exactly what I wanted to do. And uh, how long that would have to be, so this arm would have to be 1,000. So therefore, 1,000 from the border, this coordinate would be 1,000. And then, uh, however many blocks this is, uh, from, that would be at Z. So that's how I kind of plan out my trackers, and how I kind of do this. It's also how I uh, check whether or not I'm actually tracking full map. I assure myself that I am uh, following this rule, that I am following the red uh, stained glass, and making sure that they all line up with each other, and that I am covering every single block. Every single piece must be covered. Uh, I have, I have, oh my god, I really apologize for any background noise. Uh, my mom and my sister are very loud. I asked them to be very quiet, but they apparently don't like agreeing with me. So um, now that we're done with these, let's set those to zero. Let's load a different schematic. The, the damn lag. I said zero. I said zero. Alright, doesn't matter. Schematic 800. Let me load that up. Paste it. Alright, there we go. That'll clear over it. Now, this is uh, four X trackers and four Z trackers. Now, we're going to go look at the X's, which is uh, red, by the way. Uh, so, it all lines up. And then once we get to here, we have right there. So, it does go to the next block, and then you just scoot on over. And you're still tracking it. The second it passes over this line, we are again still tracking. Remember, that line is uh, not actually real and we continue tracking it. So we just tracked all of the X coordinate with four different trackers. Now, when you divide by the amount of trackers that you're using to track, the amount of obsidian uh, stays the exact same, the amount of gold blocks doubles, and the diamond blocks uh, 
usually increase whenever you're narrowing. Uh, those are really variable though, because you can just use one diamond block for every single one. I'm not going to get into the diamond aspect of it. But uh, the gold blocks will double. Uh, obby will stay the same so long as you are using the same exact design. Uh, however, if you begin, begin to stack and layer your trackers, the obby will increase exponentially. Uh, depending on how many stacks and layers you want it. Now the advantage of having these trackers, I mean like why would you want eight different warps as compared to four? And the reason is narrowing. When you have four trackers uh, doing just one coordinate, you've divided the map into um, five, no, no not five, four different pieces that track 5k each. Now previously we had two trackers dealing with the x coordinate and that could divide it into 10k areas. Now that means we had 10k Hunslows, so 4 Hunslows in total covered the entire 40k map. Uh, so this here divides that in half, which also divides your narrow in half. Uh, so the, nar the narrow on this is now naturally 500 as compared to 1000 on my Hunslows. Now I layer my Hunslows, so I do this with my Hunslows. I go 1, 2, 3. I put a gold block here and here, and then I do that. So then I can layer them, and that's equivalent to doing this, except for that it cons it's conserved space. Because when you're mining, let me take out some stone real quick, when you're mining in an area, you're going to have, let's just make a little 3x3 three three real quick. When you're mining in an area, uh, your body is 2x2. Two two. So what you usually would have to do when it came to building a tracker like this is you'd have to put stone behind it. So that requires the queen stone. But what happens when you double layer the trackers and you do this, you can just fill it in right up. And that also allows you to narrow, and it really makes you uh, do really, really good. So I hope you understand that concept. Uh, it's just nicer to layer the trackers as compared to stacking them. I usually do my 1k stacks, and then anything I want to do less than that, I'll do uh, half of it. So I'll do my 1ks on top, I mean on bottom, and then my 500 on top. Uh, that allows me to run up and down the tracker like this. Like, uh, like let's say that's my diamond block. I can go up it as compared to walking down it because that'd be freaking weird. Uh, actually, I needed that. Whoops. <laughs> so um, let's get back to actually tracking and using these. So now these ones naturally have a 500 uh, narrow. So what these would usually look like would be something like this. And I need to keep these blocks in my inventory and not clear it. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so that's naturally what it would look like. Then we'd go like this. And then that. Now, that allows a area for you to actually narrow them a little bit more by. But however, we can do something else. It's that's where we move these in all by one. And so therefore, we stagger, stagger when, it's, when they're not equal to each other the gold blocks and put the diamond blocks right next to each other. So this will allow me to go 125 and then 75. Why does it allow me to do that? Because I'm moving the actual blocks backwards and shortening the tracker. Uh, when I show you my little tracker over there, of which is kind of covered up and hidden for you guys, so you guys can't see it, uh, I really want you guys to kind of test yourself and see if you can figure out how that tracker is built and what it really does and how useful it is. Um, and figure out what kind of placement on the map it would have, how large it is. Um, yeah, so a lot of people like making their trackers like this for some reason. Um, I was talking to Sasuke Gabe, and he said he was making one-way coordinate trackers. So track all, that's 225 blocks. Now you would then have to do this. Make a little tracker like that, and your narrow is not going to be that great. It's going to be really, really weird. And I don't really like that. Um, the thing is, with one-way trackers, it's really, you're just at a disadvantage when you do them. Sorry, this is a little bit uneven, because uh, 10 is not an odd number of blocks. But what this allows you to do is have a smaller narrow on each side, so long as it's a two-way tracker. Uh, that really helps out a lot. Always make at least a two-way tracker. Do not ever make this. Don't ever do that. That'll just make a... Uh, because the equivalent of, like, let's say you want to make this, actually it'd be easier to do it like that, would be to do something like this. Exact same. Get it? So they cover the same area, however, the narrows are different. 75 here, while you have 150, and this doesn't count because that's just right there. 
So you have 150 here. Now that's a huge difference. So keep that in mind when building these trackers. You always want to have it in the center. It's where you want to put your thing. So what this does is it just allows you to track the entire map using eight different trackers. Now you sacrifice warps for narrow. Now the wonderful thing is that I can then layer these again, just like I do with my Hunslows, and the obby will actually be equivalent to a uh, four Hunslow setup that's double layered, as it would be with an eight obby. Uh, with an 8 Hunslow double layered. The only disadvantage to this is that it doubles the amount of gold you have uh, because you do have to literally, you have to cover each tip in it. So if I had only 4 trackers I would have uh, 8 gold if I only used 2 of each of these. But the thing is I'm doubling the amount of actual trackers that I have and therefore the gold itself doubles. Again I apologize for the background noise. Um, so the only disadvantage to using more trackers is you have to use more gold, especially if you want to be uh, narrowing very, very well. Now, I get a lot of people who are claiming to be tracking full map with either four or eight trackers, and they have like a 200 narrow. And they were claiming this like the second day of the map. And they, it was preposterous. It just did not make any sense at all to me. Because the amount of resources it would require to do that is... it's ridiculous. Now, I plan on uh, layering mine, because I still have not built them, but by the time this video gets posted, they'll all be up and you won't be able to find me. Uh, oh my god, my parents in the background. <sighs> Anyways, I plan on double layering them, because it takes up uh, just as much resources as the Hunslows would, but except for the gold is doubled. I'm sorry about the background noise. It's really bugging the crap out of me. I'm... And she's gonna like start using like a freaking ice maker and oh. But anyway, so it doubles the amount of gold used, same amount of obby, and same amount of diamond blocks. Now what we can do with that is we have that nicer narrow, we have more diamond blocks, and we have the same amount of obby. But it also makes it so that these are a little bit more worthless. While the gold is still um the gold will be equal to the four hunts loaves that I make, so the gold that you're gonna lose is gonna be equal each time which is kind of sad, uh, the amount of obby is going to be uh, little to nothing to what you'd be using with a 4 Hunslow. Each time one of these gets raided, uh, they're easy to replace. For instance, if I had 16 trackers, I can go remake one of those, that 1 16th of a tracker, in 15 minutes. Uh, sorry, my internet security popped up, asking me to update, but I didn't want to. Um, so the more trackers you have, the more gold and uh, crap you're going to be using. However, the obsidian is going to stay the exact same. Uh, Obsidian only starts adding up once you start layering the actual tracker. Uh, when your narrow really goes up. The narrow is immediately affected um, if you're using a one stacked when you make this tracker smaller and you use more. Which is a real pain. <laughs> uh, if you want to start narrowing a lot and get really good raids, then you're going to need a lot more trackers than just four. And that was the mistake I was making previously. Now, a lot of people have this misconception, uh, including studies, he really hates this, I guess, of uh, tracking this area of spawn. Uh, it's 500 each way, so on MC Teams it's 800 for tra spawn tracking, but uh, he really hates tracking this area. Now, the problem with that is, again, you get that 640,000 gap. So make sure that when you are tracking full map, that you do satisfy this rule, that you must cover the entire map. Don't just skip out on a certain portion of it. Don't be like, well, I don't like this spot. So I'm not going to track it, because then you're losing tons and tons of area that you could be tracking. Um, that really kind of concludes it for what I plan on doing. Actually, well, no, 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 I have one more thing to show you. And that's another newbie way to track uh, full map. Schematic load. Whoops. Paste it. Uh, so that's, you can also like kind of satisfy this rule by making a huge 10k tracker each way. So it's a 20k corner tracker. Um, if you wanted to narrow by 1k each, you'd have to stack it 20 times, and that's just gross. Even then, your narrow is only going to be 1k. And it just goes to show like how difficult it would be to track with less amount of trackers. The more and more trackers you put up, the smaller and smaller your narrow will get. However, the more and more gold and items you will have to use, especially when you start adding layers and trackers onto it. Um, before I go and show you my tracker, I'm going to tell you what the difference is between a layer and a whoops, it is, and a stack. Now a layer is on top of it. A layer is like that. 
Now, you can also say this is just a step tracker. But layering is it's usually only referred to when you actually already have it stacked horizontally. So let's take that off, put some gold here, put some gold there. So when you already have it stacked, another way to do this, to basically make your narrow even better, is to do 150, 100, and 50, and then cut down on the amount of uh, stuff you're actually using by placing another layer on top of this. Now this practically doubles the amount of uh, obsidian you're going to need, but it's definitely going to reduce the amount that you're tracking by. So you're going to go from 150 to 120 to 100 to 50, and then you can go 125, 75, and 25. Now this is completely equivalent to a tracker that's six stacked, going like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, and doing this the whole way. Get it? Actually, it should be I think like one less than that. It's the exact same thing as doing this. It's just a little bit different, and it's actually even easier to use. So you'll go 150, 125, 100, 75, 50, 25. Exact same over here, except for it's a lot more compact. And about the whole thing where you're tunneling like this, it's easier to fill in like that than it is to uh, fill in with one block and then place stone, and it's just terrible to do. So you're actually going to be track all here, 150, 125, whoops, 100, that's 75, that's 50, that's 25. Now the advantage of using this on a tracker, where you layer it as compared to just stacking it, is that you can skip over them basically. So when he's on here, and then he's on here, and then he's not on here, you can hop back here, hop up here, and you've got him narrowed. But that's a small scale, you'd have to then narrow him even more. Uh, I, I seem to have fixed that problem with my new tracker. Now, I'm sure this design has been created already, but I'm not going to show you it. Uh, I know you can see the bottom of it, bottom of it at, over there, but that's not going to help you too much. I want you guys to post in the comments what kind of tracker you think it is. I don't have a name for it yet. I'm sure it's already been created, but it narrows like crazy, and I actually plan on setting these up. So it'll go 2,500 to 2,000 to 1,500 to 1,000 to 500. I would then take any block I want, and it narrows to 250 on any position I want here. I could put in all the diamond blocks here, but that would be a waste of diamond because I can just move one whenever I want to. So my actual narrow, because I'm layering this, is 250. That counts for both ways. So I hope you guys learned something here about full mapping. I know I've probably been extremely monotonous. My background no noise has been annoying. Speaking of that. Um, and I, I just hope you guys have learned something. I apologize for the crap I put you guys through. But um, good luck on tracking, and let me know what you guys think that is. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, wait a second. No, I don't. I have to explain temp tracking to you. Oop, oop. Temp tracking. When you temp track somebody, you track them to an average cord. I'm going to go through this real quick. You then set up a uh, horizontal. I'm actually going to go find you a better version that I built. You track them maybe by like 250, like I did on my last tracker. You then go uh, subtract half of... No, no. Track all. What the? No. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. This is weird. So you're gonna track all in here until they get on it. Finally, they get on it. You're gonna break through here. You're gonna have a missing layer, and that dirt will support your horizontal, uh, your little uh, thing. And then you're gonna do. <laughs> God. And then you're gonna track all on this. Now my tracking plugin does not support this kind of uh, temp tracker, but it doesn't really matter. So. Uh, that's about it. Let's go on back over here, and I can conclude this video. See you guys soon. Later.